Hi, my name is Father Paul Hazing. I'm Vice Rector here at Kenrick Seminary and just want to offer a little update on day 17, April 3rd, since we've uh, suspended activities here in the seminary and, and gone mobile with our formation. Uh, in that time, it's been remarkable to watch the men move so gracefully and generously into whole new situations and develop a, a way of life and a way of formation that uh, is consistent with the principles we have here at the seminary. It reminded me of a litany we've been praying with the men for a number of years now, and, and there's some of these petitions here in the litany. The litany is all about desire. Jesus, give me the grace to desire it. Well, what to desire? This, this is the movement to desire. Uh, that a boy is often infatuated with the immediate. A man looks to ultimate consequences. A boy shirks responsibility and is easily forgetful. A man desires responsibility. Jesus, give me the grace to desire it. A boy is quickly discouraged by obstacles. A man remains committed to his purpose. Jesus, give me the grace to desire it. A boy goes along with his environment. A man influences his environment. A boy needs external discipline to stay on course. A man imposes his own inner discipline. A boy engenders chaos in ordered situations. A man orders the chaos he encounters. A boy is quickly distracted. A man is focused and steady. A boy starts and leaves jobs unfinished. A man finishes his work. Uh, friends, we have a community of adult men and they're behaving that way in this new circumstance and in this time of pandemic when there's lots of fear. And I'm, I'm just so hopeful to watch the men behave as they do and think as they do uh, because it won't be the church taking care of them, uh, providing a parish for them, providing a seminary for them. No, these are men who can go out and provide a parish. They can take care of others. They'll take care of themselves in such a way that they'll be able to take care of others. They'll be able to take care of the church with Jesus, to care for the church with the heart of Jesus. And that's, that's just really encouraging. And I'm happy for them and happy for the maturing that's happening through this experience. And I'm hopeful for the church. And I hope you are too. Let's keep praying for each other and um, stay close. God bless you.